Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon from Grimdark Australia and today we're going to be teaching you how to paint Grimdark Drakari. We're not going to be using the box art colours, today we'll be using our own methods. So to get started we're going to be hitting this model with some Steinle Res Grey Primer and then we're going to be going in with our first highlight colour which is going to be Vallejo's Wolf Grey. With this we want to make sure that we're focusing areas like the ends of the shoulder pads, the center parts of the knees, you can see that little uh, spiky part there like the back of the knee, uh, just hit that and leave some grey in the middle. The idea here is to be very careful with our trigger control, we can use this as practice for getting better with our airbrushes um, and we can overall make the model look better and more detailed by providing a better targeted highlight. Alternatively, you can go through and just do a top down 90 degree angle zenithal highlight and I'm sure this would look just as good and a little bit quicker. So once we've got that done guys, we're going to be coming in with our next colour which is going to be Vallejo's Dead White. Now with this, we're going to try and be even more careful than beforehand, really focusing on the brightest parts of the armour where light would be hitting, which is going to be the very tip tops of the knees, the very tips of those knee pads on the sides, uh, very centre of the breastplates. Uh, and the like. So go around the model, be a little bit selective with this. Um, if you were good to go the other way with the last color and just do a 90 degree top down zenithal highlight, um, you could come in and just do your spot highlights with this as well. So once you're done with the majority of the armor and the grays and the whites, uh, we're going to come in and start basing out the rest of our colors. So for this, uh, we're going to do the swords and anything that's a gun uh, in Vallejo's gun metal um, and go through and probably apply two coats of this on.
Our next color after this is going to be Citadel's Rune Lord Brass, uh, probably the paint that we'll use the most across all our videos. Um, and we're gonna go through and do all our gold details with this. So for this, I just do any of the knives that are on the back, those daggers, uh, the hilts of all the swords, um, the pummels, cross guards, that's the word I'm looking for, on the top of the swords. Now I do go back in and do the like uh, the Eldari symbols on the heads and gauntlets, uh, but I'd like to save that until the end, just because we do come in with some unifying washers, and I don't want to put too much paint onto those areas and have get it too thick. Once you're done with your gold, though, come back in and do your tabard, whatever color you choose to do it. Um, as you can see, I've got some new brushes, and I'm not used to the amount of water that they retain after washing them. Um, so it's thinning out my paint too much and throwing it everywhere. However, I am going to use my unifying wash to help correct some of these mistakes. And I'm going to be pretty reliant on this scenario uh, to fill in a lot of the details with that and cover it up for me. Alternatively, you could go back in and fix those up with some wolf grey and some grey primer and lay a little bit in. I'm choosing not to. So once you're done with basing all of your colors out, we're going to take a piece of sponge and some tweezers and we're going to dip that into some charred brown, wipe away to a dry brush consistency and then we're just going to lightly dab over the model, aiming to be as random as possible, however we're going to target certain areas like the legs, the knee pads, anywhere where you think these guys might be slipping and sliding and grinding on the floor and chipping up a little bit of that wraith bone armor. Is it Wraithbone? I don't know. Maybe someone can correct me down in the comments if their armor is Wraithbone. Okay, so once our chipping's just about done, we're going to let that dry for a good solid 15 to 20 minutes or hit it with a blow dryer on a hot setting. Now, for the magic, we're going to be coming in with AK Interactive's Dark Brown Wash for Green Vehicles. Now, take it straight out of the pot on a thick brush and slap this all over. Uh, just don't do it anywhere near anything white clothing or, or anything like that because it will flick out off the brush um, and stain. But go ahead and slap this all over the model, everywhere you can get, make sure it sits in the crevices, get it all over the flag, all over the sword, all over the gun, everything. Once that's done guys, we're going to be going back in with our Q-tip loaded with mineral spirits and we're just going to start doing our reduction technique. Now we're going to be focused on the outermost areas, letting the wash pull up in all the recesses um, and that's almost going to be done. Now I can't stress enough, make sure that you only lightly dab. Don't pull and swipe and be too heavy with this. It takes a light touch. Just be gentle with it and this is, will stop any paint uh, from pulling away from the model. So once that's all dried up, we're going to come in with some blood from the blood god, slap it on a brush, and then we're going to get our air gun, and we're just going to smash our air through the paintbrush. Aim this at the model. You may have to hold the model at the same time somehow, 
uh, but just just get it on with this effect we're aiming to be as random as possible and to try and simulate uh, the blood splattering effect so two things that you might notice at the moment uh, one being that the sword is currently green don't worry about that don't do that just leave it a gunmetal color uh, I didn't like the direction that was going and I ripped that paint off and redid it. Um, and also that the eyes are blue. Now that is just a little bit of contrast paint dabbed into the center there and it just filters out a little bit inside the eye. Um, you can do this any color that you prefer. You don't have to do it blue. So as you can see, I've gone and repainted that sword again. Um, now what I'm doing here is using my favorite paint of all time, Molotow Liquid Chrome. Now I'm loaded the brush up, you need quite a bit on this, and you just want to drag it along the edge. You don't have to do it this way, but I really like the way that the chrome sits and reflects light. Um, and I'm just going to do that over the whole blade edge of the, um, or sorry, the sharp edge of the sword. Once you're done with the sword, go back in, and um, which you would have already done before, uh, but do your blood effects over the sword and get those patterns on. Once you're done with that, that's going to be our Drakari model done. This is a really easy and simple way to paint up your Drakari in the grimdark style. Um, I painted up a squad of 10 Cabalites in about two and a half hours um, doing this method. Now, if there's anything that you guys want to see next, uh, please drop me a comment down below and let me know if there's anything that you're looking to see. Um, also, please like, share and subscribe. Let your friends know that this is the place to come to if you're looking for the best bang for buck techniques to paint your minis. And on that note, have a good one guys and you can't see the shockers that I just threw out.